Hi, welcome to Truth with Dr. Dara. I am Dr. Dara. Actually, I am super Dr. Dara tonight because tonight we're going to talk about the superwoman balance. I am on Facebook Live and Instagram Live, so if you guys have questions, you can post them on the bottom. And um, please jump in because this week I've had a lot of great comments and a lot of communication and messages about the superwoman balance. And I post some funny questions out there like what, how do you balance your super and other things. Like I said, well, what if you were just you? And there's been a lot of responsiveness because being superwoman and balancing it all is really it's challenging sometimes and it doesn't just apply to women because it applies to men too because well there's not a world where it's just full of women it's full of men and women funny how that works so but you know as women were in national women's month so i said we were gonna really dive in and talk about topics and issues that affect women so that's what we're doing so this week is superwoman balance and next week we're going to talk about the guiltless woman and um, if you have any questions, you can always send them and join the private Facebook group, Truth with Dr. Dara. And you can always write things down there if you have questions on these topics or ideas that you would wanna see for us to talk about. So what does it look like when you are balancing life? You know, um, I think it was Krista Herrera posted this week when I commented on getting your superwoman balance in and to the effect of, well, why do we have to balance anything right like what is the whole idea of it because we work so hard to balance it but then at the end of the day it just is what it is and i put the most ridiculous picture um the other day and it had me um in my den and i sat down and my husband got it because it was pretty funny there was just toys everywhere and i was thinking about balance and the toys were everywhere the dogs were everywhere my kids were everywhere and the more that i try to even focus on organizing it it has a mind of its own so it was perfectly imbalanced i see a lot of you are jumping on now penny is on and felipe and amy and ali and there's some more of you on Instagram. So if you have questions, post them down here, jump on. I am wearing my super girl shirt in honor of the super woman balance because it's always a juggling thing. And is there ever really a perfect balance? No, because when you think you've got it, something changes and shifts. I think of Maslow's hierarchy of needs where at the bottom you have your safety and um, your foundation, oxygen, water, the necessities of life, and then it builds up from there, having self, and then it goes on to even talking about at the top, self-actualization, this place where you're like okay with you, and you're okay with the world, and you're cool with, last week we talked about confidence versus competency, you're cool with your competency, and you're feeling com confident, and you're walking really strong, and then if something jiggles from underneath, how it can really set you into a different tier because if something pulls out from the bottom, if there's a crack in your foundation, your pretty granite in your couch, your kitchen is not gonna hold up. So yeah, we're once again in my kitchen because I feel like this is where, this is like the, um, the command central of my balance. So much goes on here because the structure of my life happens around here getting everybody set, lunch, breakfast, dinner happens in this space. And the integrity of that is so critical. Um, I saw a thing, I don't know if some of you know Ellen Latham, she is the founder of um, Orange Theory. And where I work out is over at Ellen's, which is the first one that she originally started. And she has been a, such a strong entrepreneur and businesswoman and she's doing um, a webinar that I saw or an interview and what I saw that was critical and she talks about is the foundation of everything and taking care of yourself and doing your self-care because if you talk to any entrepreneur or anybody with a successful business they're doing them successfully and over the past six weeks I know that it was a rocky place for myself because I wasn't feeling that great and it's so amazing to me how it just throws off the whole equilibrium 
of everything. So if I was looking at Maslow's hierarchy of needs, if I'm not feeling well, the bottom is just completely out and it spreads, it's the integrity. What's working on one area is gonna carry over into the other. So if we talk about balance, I feel like really what we're talking about is imbalance because there's no such thing as a constant, continuous balance. It's always a, a fluid motion. Uh, Leah, thank you. I'm glad that you're on. She says I'm a fabulous person. I'm super Dr. Dara today and we're talking about balance and I see some more of you. Wendy, you're on Instagram down here. So if you have questions, just put them down here. So I wanted to do a little demonstration for you guys. When I, I worked 10 years at an eating disorder treatment center, as most of you know, Milestones in Recovery, and I had the opportunity to learn under Dr. Marty Lerner. And he used to do this thing and he would take rice and, um, he would take rice and eggs and he would put them in a bowl like so. And the whole premise, and I, I even wrote about it the other day when I did a post, is balancing everything and getting it in. So I'm gonna take these, um, Penny, you're gonna love these, these very cute decorated rocks that my daughter did. Can't just have plain rocks. And I'm gonna put them in here, okay? And I've got four rocks. And the first thing I want you to do is I want you to think about what are the priorities? What is the foundation? If you're creating a um, your priorities of your balance, what would they be? What would they look like? And um, he used to talk about it being surf, spirituality, exercise, rest, and food. And that may apply for some of you. I think sometimes more of a general sense is about your schedule. But if I were to pick four rocks, I would definitely, I'm gonna go into a whole other direction. I'm gonna pick, actually, are you guys ready? I'm gonna pick this big rock and call this me. Taking care of myself, doing what I need for me, putting the oxygen mask. I thought if I could get my hands on an oxygen mask that came off of an airplane, put the oxygen mask on your first before helping others. So this is my oxygen mask and I'm gonna put that in here. And then let's say the next thing has to do with my my kids, right, my family. We'll give them a rock right there. And then let's say that my work is this other rock. And then let's just go to this other one right here. Um, that would be, I don't know, we could say that part of me would be my exercise and taking care of myself. I'm gonna call this one um, activity and socialization, like doing things with my kids. Um, for me, some of my activity is around being physically active as well. So I want you to think what your four rocks, maybe five rocks, maybe three, you decide. And you're gonna put them in a container. And I got a little um, thrifty. I'm a little embarrassed to tell you, but I have these sprouted bean trio. And I looked at when they expire and they may or may not, I can't confirm, I can totally confirm, it says it right here, that I've had them since um, 2012. But we'll just leave that alone. So my cupboard needs a little balancing. But I'm gonna take these, cause this would be like rice or sand. And I want you to see something. If I were to put this in here, wait, can you see it? Let's see if I can do this without making a mess. I'm gonna put these beans in and notice something. The rocks, everything fits like so completely, okay? I want you to see this. Everything's in. So if I put my rocks in first and then I put my other stuff around it, it fits. Let's pretend like these beans are um, social media. They're social media bean. And um, that might be Instagram and all those things. Maybe some of these other beans are talking on the phone. Maybe some of these other beans are, I don't know, what would they be for you? What would some of these beans look like? Like the extracurricular activities that not are, are not quite yet a priority doing things with other people, taking care of other people that are not your children and depend on you. Um, let's think, what else could this be? I don't know, you guys help me with that creativity part of the other things that don't necessarily make priority, but you constantly try to put them first or get everything done. So now I'm gonna take that everything and I'm gonna dump it in here and watch this. So if I take this and I take my rocks out, Come on, share with me what are some of your rocks and what are some of your, um, the rocks that you have and what would that be? I see some more of you are jumping on. So we're having a science experiment, a super girl science experiment. I'm gonna take the beans now and put them in here. Yes, I did it without making a mess. 
And then now look what happens if I try to take me and I put it in here and I take my family and I stick them in here and I take, oh gosh, they're starting to float everywhere. And I take extracurricular social fun things and here's my job, which I don't know. It won't fit, like I can barely get it in. It won't all fit in the same capacity. So experiment done. You have to put in what's most important first. You have to identify it. You have to set it in a foundation. And before we got on our little time together here, I was actually sitting. Um, I often go to a meeting flourish with Wendy. I see that she's on here. And it gives me this great opportunity where I sit down and I plan out my month ahead. And we didn't have it today. And here we are into the third week of March and I create the ideas that I want for April and I create it as if they've already happened. And so before I got on with you guys, I was sitting down and I was writing it out and going through the priorities, um, what's important to me and what I want April to look like for me. And if I don't sit and write it down, then it's not gonna look as I want it to be. It can't happen and so by doing it it just draws the energy towards it and I feel like so many times people talk to me about creating a balance but how can you create a balance if you don't even know what you're balancing I mean I feel like it's like a waitress I wasn't a very good waitress with a tray on her her hand and she's carrying all these plates and they're all over the place and she just cleared the table and then there's a waiter over here and he's got it but he's got it all together because he balances it out and he's got some here and some there and his isn't falling over but hers completely is because she doesn't have things mixed around in it in the right way so that's what we've got to prioritize people say well I'm not balanced but you don't even know what you're balancing so what are you gonna put on your plate what are you gonna put in here what do your rocks look like and this I think is the biggest part is you because we think that we have to balance everything else first. So remember, this is my, my rock that's also my oxygen mask that gets on and creates my freedom. Because if I'm not okay with me, oh, if mama's not okay, nobody's okay in this house. You know, we as women are the nucleus of the world. Everything circles around us and goes around. And, um, you know, even that I'm in here in the kitchen, it doesn't, I'm not being sexist of saying, oh, hey, here's a woman in the kitchen. That's not it at all, but that's the center that a lot of us in our homes where things are happening. And a couple weeks ago, we talked about how food is a part of that and it is balancing it and pre-planning it. You know, for those of you who have kids, you wouldn't leave the house without having food for your kids. That would be a monstrosity. That would be chaos, it would be havoc. You are always sure that you have some food for your kids or a change of clothes. I mean, could you imagine if we carried our own little diaper bag and brought the things that we needed, how much more productive we would be if we were ready and we were on a roll with that? So I'm thinking that that can be where we need to go because there's always something that you can be doing. There's always something more that can be done. Um, on Sunday, my husband was home. He travels a lot and so our schedules gets a little crazy sometimes and actually, I don't think it really gets crazy. It's just that I plan it and I, I enjoy it when he's home and he was home this Sunday and I guess it just felt like really warm and we were in the house like warm like cozy and I was so productive and I got a lot of writing done and that felt really good to me and there was like this seesaw like this teetering part in my head that was going back and forth like oh like should guilt creep in you know we could talk more about guilt next week but should I be doing more than what I'm doing and what came to mind for me is that um, I did and I talked to him about it and I said Randy um, you know do you think I I feel I feel bad because you're here and I'm spending time doing this but yet I was being so productive because he was here and he looked at me and he said well why would you be doing it different than you are because that's you and um, he knows how excited I get about the opportunities and the things I'm doing and I love writing and he said why why wouldn't I want you to do that and he said you're never gonna stop doing more things that's just who you are and a bell kind of rang in my head when he said that because you know then it seemed to make so much sense to me 
because here I am always trying to balance and think that I should be doing it differently. So the moral of most of this is we've got to stop shooting all over ourselves because we're constantly, I should do this, I should do that. And the more that that's happening, we're farther from where we want to be because we're only focusing on where we don't want to be. Allison said, you think by now I'd be an expert on balance, but um, <laughs> I'm trying to get through each day with a little bit of sanity. Well, you know what, Allie, I, who could be, I mean, that would be like saying that we all should be about an expert on balance and who, who really is an expert on balance because everything is constantly changing and, oh, hello, my finger in the middle of the screen. How can we be an expert when everything's changing and the factors are always changing because what's working today isn't necessarily what's going to be working the next day. But that's where it's critical to have, you know, a foundation and have the things that are a priority and I think you've seen Marty do this before, but having that priority is going to be so important. That's going to be the key on priority of what's going on. Oh, okay, so you guys are gonna have to excuse me a minute because priority number one, I have a crying child. Stand by, uh, maybe Denzel can sing for you. to be cutting tonight's edition short because of balance and priorities. And as you heard, I have a crying little girl and there's a So you know what? This is the perfect imbalance of on perfection. You guys, I will get back with you soon. Have an awesome evening. Catch me next week and we will talk more about balance, imbalance, imperfection, and doing whatever you have to do to get it done.